Is Oregon ready to blow? The Three Sisters volcano is bulging. According to the United States Geological Survey, or USGS, the Three Sisters volcanic region of central Oregon, just west of Bend, are three different but active volcanoes of the Pacific Northwest Cascade Range. Per the USGS, the Sisters Reach of the Cascade Arc contains at least 466 volcanoes that erupted within the past one million years. The most recent eruptions were near South Sister about 2,000 years ago. In 2001, inspection of satellite data revealed a broad region of uplift to the west of South Sister Volcano in central Oregon. The deformation suggested accumulation of either magma or a hot, buoyant plume of water and gas at a depth of about 6 kilometers or 4 miles beneath the surface. Modeling of satellite imagery suggests that the deformation started in late 1995 or 1996. Starting in late 2021, several small earthquake swarms were detected in the region, with bursts in October 2021, December 2021, and January 2022. So what does it all mean? The uplift measured since 1995 is probably part of a long-term sequence of magmatic activity that occurs in pulses with rates that vary over time. But the ultimate outcome of the activity is uncertain. If an eruption were to occur, it would not necessarily be focused on one of the three sisters. Central Oregon is a complex volcanic environment with eruptions that span a range of compositions and styles. It is also possible that no eruption from this magma body will ever occur. However, the eruption of nearby Mount St. Helens in 1980 provides some insight into the effects of a volcanic eruption in the region. From March through April of 1980, Mount St. Helens experienced an earthquake, bulging, and venting on the north side. On May 18th, a second earthquake caused the greatest landslide in recorded history and a large magma pyroclastic flow that flattened the landscape for 230 square miles. Uh, now we got a whole great big uh, eruption out of the uh, crater. And we got another that opened up on the west side, and the whole west side, northwest side is right down. Mud flows cause more devastation, reaching 17 miles to the Columbia River. The ash plume traveled east, reaching as far as Alberta, Canada, the next morning. Where's Spirit Lake? Is that it over there? I can't believe I've camped up in this area. It doesn't look like any place I've ever been before. The north side collapse reduced the mountain's height by 1,300 feet. Per the USGS, South and Middle Sister are recurrently active over thousands to tens of thousands of years and may either erupt explosively or produce substantial lava domes that could collapse into pyroclastic flows. They could also produce lava flows. Of course, with any volcanic activity, it is a matter of waiting, observation, preparation, and if necessary, evacuation.